Hello and welcome to the part 3 of Squid Game Character Modeling Series in Blender. So here is the third part and in this part we will create the hand of our character. So let's get started. Okay so first of all select this object, go to the edit mode, go to the edges selection and double shift and alt shift and left click to select the loop and press F to fill it. After that just control E and make it mark sharp to make this, this corner a little sharp. After that go to the edit mode select this face and press shift s and go to the circle to go to cursor to select and you will get the cursor here so press shift a now go to the object mode press shift a and add a simple cube let's scale it down like this okay scale it with a little y axis move it around here with a little x axis now let's see from what it look how it look from the front so i will go to the front view let's just move it a little up scale it with z direction to just match it roughly with the reference okay so that's how it's looking let's just delete this face okay so control r and add a loop here let's just scale it with uh, y direction like this and let's see it from the front view go to the edit mode go to the vertex selection go to the wireframe and just select this vertex this whole loop move it a little back like here so here from here we will start up the thumb just extrude it with the x direction like here so here we will finish our thumb okay and let's just select this one and move it a little up so it will match to the reference exactly okay so from the top view just select just add uh, three loops here with control r so from here we will extrude up our uh, fingers so select all of these extrude it one more time to bring it here just scale it down with the z direction and just try to match it with the reference like this so now simply we have to look at from the top view select these four extrude it with the x direction like this and these four extrude here and just select the previous one make a little small move it with a little uh, y direction control r and add a loop here and this one also select it uh, scale it with the y direction so here we have we are getting a little uh, a little the finger shape so i just select this one the whole loop with r shift and click and just double g to move it around here and select these vertex and move it to the x direction so it looks like something like this now we have to fill these so just select these tools and these tools and press F to fill and then select this edge and press F and it will automatically fill this thing okay so after that we also have to fill this one so just press F fill and these tools F fill and from the top view let's just add a loop here and scale it with the y direction also select this one scale it with y a little move it to the y and start the new finger so extrude x scale it with y and extrude it with x now select this one extrude with x scale it with y extrude it with x and here is it now for the front finger this will be good no. okay so just select the top loop here and double g to move it a little down like this and select this whole loop and double g to move it a little up so now we get this curve thing so just select these two uh, faces and from the top view let's just extrude it one time rotate it like this and one more time and let's just scale it down okay Okay, so go to the edge selection, select these two edges, move it toward this direction and 
select this vertex double G and move it a little here let's just select these two edges vertex and let's move it toward this direction and just pull these things here okay so it's look nice now now come up here and just fill these stuff so I will select the four loops and press F to fill now select these two vertex and these two vertex and press F to fill and same do with this one okay so now go to the modifier setting and add a subdivision modifier and go to the edit mode select this one face these all faces and delete that so we actually don't need that and by going to the top view let's just uh, match up the scale a little so for this select this one move it around here okay select this one and move it toward the y direction let's just move this one to the y and let's grab this one a little here okay so fill up these these finger here with F so I'm just selecting the whole loop and pressing F to fill that now from the top you just add a few loops here okay so that's it with a few minutes we get the hand shape and it's just the basic shape so it's fine for now let's just select this one and control a and make it all transform to move the pivot to the uh, center here and let's just now uh, add a mirror modifier to mirror our object okay so that's it so for the mesh we have to apply a subdivision modifier and just make the value to about 2 and as you can see by adding that we lost some of the details so we want the sharpness back here at some points so let's just select these loops in which you want uh, the subdivision in which you want the sharpness so just select the uh, so select the areas where you want the sharpness back so I will select this loop and press N and you will uh, in the items you will get this menu mean crease so from here you can increase the mean crease like this and you can get the sharpness back so for some points I will do this thing just to get back the sharpness
okay so to the hoodie i will just add a solidify modifier to add some thickness so i will also control a and add uh, rotation and scale so it will fix the rotation and scale and after that it's just so smooth so let's decrease this one to get this kind of sharp edges here and let's just increase this one somewhere around here so we get the hoodie shape and also make sure to click on on the rim to just uh, remove the inner surface here so it's only rim now so that's what we need okay okay guys so that's it for now thank you for watching and hope you learned something from this video if you learned something just put a like and subscribe to the channel to follow up the full course so for now bye